The laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy is a relatively new weight loss operation. Uh, it was originally designed for the super obese patients as a first part of a two-stage operation, but then it was found that lots of patients didn't need the second part. The sleeve gastrectomy is performed with keyhole surgery and it involves removing about two-thirds of your stomach. It's a permanent operation, your stomach is in the bin and there's no going back. Uh, with the reduced capacity in your stomach, you can't eat as much and therefore you take in less calories and you lose weight. In addition, the part of the stomach that remo we remove has a hormone called ghrelin. Ghrelin makes you feel hungry when your stomach is empty. And with the stomach removed, or with this portion of the stomach removed, uh, your feeling of hunger is decreased even though you eat less. Initially after the operation, your stomach capacity is about 50 mils and it slowly increases over six months to about 100 or 120 mils. The advantages of the sleeve gastrectomy is that your anatomy is not changed and there are less dietary restrictions than some of the other operations. Essentially, you can eat what you want, just in smaller portions. The sleeve gastrectomy is felt to be particularly good for men, as men's main issue is portion control, whereas women have a tendency to go for uh, more chocolates and desserts. Weight loss with a sleeve gastrectomy is relatively rapid, and you'll attain your maximum weight loss by about 12 months. In the, the operation, as I said, is done with keyhole surgery. Uh, you stay usually in hospital for two days. And immediately after the operation, we do an x-ray test to check for any leaks. A leak from a sleeve is the most major complication we're concerned about. If this was to happen, you would need further operation. Again, usually a keyhole operation to place drains the key to managing a leak is to avoid collections, avoid infection, and maintain your nutrition. If we're able to do that, the leak will heal by itself. But this means you may go home with some drains in place as it can take the leak uh, several weeks to heal. The risk of a leak varies between half a percent and two percent. The other complications with uh, the sleeve gastrectomy um, are of the stricture, that's rare, in less than 1% of cases. And in some people, the operation can impair the ability of the stomach to empty. That's what we call delayed gastric emptying. Generally, this resolves with time, but very occasionally, another operation may be needed to correct this. Heartburn and reflux can be a bit of a problem after a sleeve gastrectomy and therefore we send you home on antacid medication and you stay on that for three months. In addition, you can have some issues with occasional nausea and we send you home with anti-nausea medication and we recommend that you have some in the house to take if you need it. Generally, my patients say they have good days and bad days up until about two or three months, and then things start to sort themselves out. One of the advantages of the sleeve is once you get over this immediate post-operative period, there's not a lot that can go wrong with the operation. And as I say, you can eat a normal diet and you don't need the intensive follow-up that is necessary with uh, something like the gastric band.